means the whistles. The whistles along the valley line, which the Antelope, the Antelope Valley line, 24-7. The whistles along Van Nuys, it's Sadequoy Street. You can hear them 24-7. One of my, my friend's house, you can hear them at 3 in the morning at, at uh, Sadequoy and, and uh, DeSoto. The whole valley is polluted by train horns. It doesn't have to be that way. In Orange County, the residents went out, they were upset, and they did something called a quiet zone. There's a federal law that has procedures how you make a quiet zone. On Van Nuys Boulevard and Sepulveda, we put the road under the tracks. But the rest of the places like Balboa, Coldwater Canyon, where all the horn noise has to come by law, you can do something called quad gates, which is gates on both sides of the tracks, put a concrete medium in the, in median in the center of the tracks, and put pedestrian gates on the side. So essentially, it seals off the railroad tracks from anybody that wants to get across them. It doesn't stop somebody that's suicidal that drives through the gates, but for the majority of people, it keeps them off the tracks. It's called a sealed corridor, and there's a picture here that shows that if you do a sealed corridor, the trains don't have to blow their horns. If I have enough motions from the various neighborhood councils, then we can take it to the city council and get city council to pass a resolution <coughs> to say the city of Los Angeles wants a quiet zone. But the only way I can do that is to get the 14 or 18 neighborhood councils that are either adjacent to the tracks or in the other areas of the valley that hear the sound pollution, and we can eliminate the sound. The other, I don't know if anybody likes the sounds. I mean, I love no. the train sounds, but no. I actually like to sleep <laughs> when I'm supposed to. I share your concern, believe me. And seriously, I actually met with a couple council members from San Fernando a couple months ago, and one of them looked up, he says, you mean we can, we can stop this? My mom doesn't have to be woken up every night? So what we did is, there's a number of projects that are going on in the San Fernando Valley, uh, including uh, doubling the ability of the Van Nuys train station to have a second platform. There's a motion that had passed by the mayor's office in Cal State Northridge to relocate the Reseda train station closer to Reseda Boulevard so it can use the buses to double track for safety. I was a peer review member of the Metrolink safety panel in, was it 2008 or 2009 when we had the head-on crash in Chatsworth? And we wouldn't have to have this kind of danger anymore if we had two tracks. It's just like a one-lane alley and somebody's in the alley and you can't get by, so you have to decide a right away. So we could, there's funding from the state that's been in the budget for a long, long time, but it needs clear neighborhood council support to tell some of the assembly members, the uh, city council members, and other elected officials the valley is for something. Uh, some of you may remember about six or seven years ago, this council, I came to this council to ask for the uh, rail tunnel between Van Nuys Boulevard and West LA, <coughs> and it's potentially in the ballot measure this year, but if it wasn't for Van Nuys Neighborhood Council saying we want it, when the Daily News called me and said, the Valley doesn't want this, I said, no, I've got 15 neighborhood councils that signed resolutions, and all of a sudden the story changed from the Valley is against to the Valley is for. And you know, I had support from a number of people in this room. So that's in a nutshell what it is. I have, I can answer any questions you'd like. Um, we, we tried to make it comprehensive to cover safety, noise, and capacity. Um, there is funding. It's been there for a number of years. All the funding? There's different funding sources. There's CMAC, which is a federal congestion relief money. But, but the money has right been there. Oh, in other words, the city doesn't have to... It's not out of, it doesn't come from the city at all. The city Trains. just has to be told that they want a quiet zone. Um, they used to be... They used to be um, no, absolutely. They used to Anyone else? Right. And now you they're... Need, uh, um, little from us? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes, we'd like... No well, the motion in a letter of support would be that so you... Since we custom... We, we custom... Uh, custom it's been custom written for this council oh, okay. that you pass this and then on official letterhead, put it on your letterhead that, you know, I can provide the actual uh, Word document. And what, excuse uh, me? But if we do it that way, then 
Oh, there's questions. Go ahead. Um, so the, with this, the Van Nuys uh, Regional Rail Infrastructure Resolution that you're referring to, is this um, something that you you came up with the language with, or is this whose whose language is the Van Nuys Regional Rail Infrastructure Resolution? Is that well, the city's language, or no, no, the Transit Coalition. We have different people that work on these things. Okay, so, so you we've got different resolutions for different areas in the valley because it's this is customized for Van Nuys because, as you know, Jerry is the uh, mayor of the Van Nuys Station there. That's his thing. And so we made it somewhat custom for each one, but we, we write it. I mean, that's what the Transit Coalition does. We well, I understand it's pretty dense, but essentially it's if you, the, the crux of whatever it is, is you can see on page two, the pictures of the train horns as they go across the valley. This is the crux. The motion, the language in the motion, as much as it's there, it just sim simply says that we support getting rid of the train noise and having quiet zones. There's nothing okay. well, that is less than, you know, it's fairly transparent. And it was, it was submitted, was submitted to the council. Well, I'm just worried about taking a vote here while we still have a quorum, <laughs> which we're rapidly losing. Uh, so, in, without further ado, unless there's an objection, I would like to put this to a vote. Uh, again, it's the Los An it's the VN VNNC to vote on supporting the Van Nuys Regional Rail Infrastructure Resolution 2016, the VNNC to adopt the language in the VNRRIR 2016, and support the resolution as a full council, Mr. Secretary. Right. George Thomas. Yes. Howard Benjamin. Yes. I'm saying yes. Stacy Rains. Yes. Jason Ackerman. Get to accuse himself. Um, you know, I, I'll abstain because I haven't had a chance to read this. Uh. Sure. Right. John Camara. Yes. Marino. Yes. Jacob Lynn. Yes. John Henry. Gone. How many votes Joseph. is that? Yes. Jeffrey Lynn. Yes. Jerry Martin. Yes. Yes. Penny Meyer. I'm going to abstain for you. Thank you. Kathleen. He's gone. Gone. Maria. Gone. Gone. Uh, it passes. What's the vote? Uh, one, Eleven to two. Eleven. Okay. Mm. Just made it. Just made it. Yes. All right. So you'll submit to us uh, the language. I already did. Okay. Um, Jeff, if you give me your business card, I'll send it to you electronically. Okay. Because I have a Word document. I All send right. a PDF to the. Do you want this in the form of a community impact statement, or how do you want this? Um. What would be the best impact? Because I, my my goal my goal is to take this to the council member. I've I've spoken to Nuri. She likes the idea because. But okay, then we'll. Yeah. Okay. It was a football conference. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I'll give you that. All right. I'm moving right along. Hang on one second. Item V. Thank you. Is the Los Angeles citywide ordinance item, community impact statement on the repeal of second dwelling unit conditional ordinance by city planning council. I'm sorry, planning. Council will discuss the city's draft ordinance and updates and information on draft ordinance. CPC 2016-1245-CA, which allows second dwelling unit on single family lots or R1 zone properties. And here to translate that into English is Mr. Della Cuesta. Well, um, thanks. Uh, I'm not really prepared because uh, the fact is, is that uh, Dunn kind of screwed me over as far as not having an agenda and, and putting it out. And I, I didn't prepare myself well enough. Uh, but basically, uh, uh, the city is, is moving forward and adding okay. second units that could be as large as uh, 1,200 square foot on a right. second unit. We already have an ordinance that, that allows us to do uh, accessory dwelling units up to 650. What the city is trying to do is they're trying to uh, 
uh, add these uh, uh, second dwelling units uh, ministerially, not discretionary, which uh, it it ca it's caused uh, quite a bit of problem. Uh, one neighbor in uh, in Van Nuys because they built a second unit uh, overlooking his backyard. So um, I could see the problem with this uh, ordinance as trying to uh, expedite it and and have it uh, approved because uh, it would entail uh, to um, destroy neighborhoods, especially single family residential neighborhoods, uh, because it's not very uh, it hasn't been thoroughly vetted. Um, there's no, there's not really a design guidelines. Um, and I think they need to, I think planning needs to work on it more. Um, but um, I, I feel like I, um, this board is not well equipped to vote on this until I prepare uh, next month. All right, so should we put this over till next month? Uh, yeah, if anybody it, wants it to interject. Be too late. Absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. This month? Well, um, tomorrow they're having a uh, a planning commission, which I'll show up uh, at eight thirty in the morning to as as a representative of Van Nuys, not as part of the board, but you know, as an individual uh, uh, person to to go against this repeal and and to institute a a ministerial. Uh, um, ordinance that would affect neighborhoods. No, I'm you against it, right? Yeah. No, I'm against it. Yeah. All right, wait a minute. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I. Oh, all right, Jason. Sorry. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. All right. So my understanding of the situation is that if we repeal this ordinance that the that the city planning commission has in place then we default to the state guidelines, which are worse. Yeah. So can we at least, uh, and, I, and I think part of the issue is also the fast tracking. So can we at mm -hmm. least say that we're opposed to the fast tracking and to the repeal, and that we want the, the planning commission uh, to, to take their time and come up with a, more, with a better plan than just going to the state's terrible plan? Great. I, well, I, I think that's a good, that's a good. Uh, uh, and, and I'd also like to move that we authorize Q to speak on behalf of the neighborhood council. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Yes. I agree. Yes. I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Keep in mind, if you're a homeowner and you live on an R1 property, R1 means that there should be one dwelling on that property. Um, this ordinance was put into effect so that people could build a pool house. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, basically, if you wanted a cabana in your backyard, so that you could have a bathroom and a changing room out there. Well, it. That, I, I, I have to correct because it's it's actually a, a 